Introduction Welcome to today's lecture on the topic of contrast media reactions in radiology. In this lecture, we will explore various aspects of contrast-induced reactions, including anaphylaxis, histamine's role, radiologic manifestations of contrast-induced nephropathy, contrast-induced thyroid dysfunction, contrast-induced pulmonary edema, prophylaxis for high-risk patients, contrast reactions in pediatric populations, hypersensitivity testing for contrast media allergies, emerging contrast agents, contrast extravasation, idiosyncratic reactions to contrast media, and contrast reaction mimics. So let's dive into the intriguing world of contrast media reactions. Anaphylaxis is a severe and potentially life-threatening allergic reaction that can occur after the administration of contrast media. Although rare, its occurrence necessitates prompt recognition and intervention. Anaphylaxis typically presents with a sudden onset of symptoms, such as itching, hives, respiratory distress, hypotension, and in severe cases, cardiac arrest. The pathophysiology involves the binding of specific IgA antibodies to contrast media, leading to mast cell degranulation and the release of various mediators, including histamine. Treatment for anaphylaxis includes immediate administration of epinephrine, corticosteroids, and antihistamines, along with airway management and fluid resuscitation. Histamine is a key mediator involved in contrast media reactions. It is released from mast cells following IgA mediated activation. Histamine causes vasodilation, increased vascular permeability, bronchoconstriction, and smooth muscle contraction. These effects contribute to the characteristic symptoms observed in contrast reactions, including flushing, rash, hypotension, and respiratory distress. Antihistamines, such as diphenhydramine or cetirizine, can be administered to alleviate symptoms related to histamine release. Contrast-induced nephropathy CIN, is a well-known complication of contrast media administration, particularly in patients with pre-existing renal impairment. Radiologic manifestations of SIN can be observed on imaging studies, including computed tomography, CT, scans and magnetic resonance imaging, MRI. The main findings include a decrease in renal perfusion and contrast enhancement, dilated renal collecting systems, and delayed excretion of contrast agent. These radiologic findings aid in the diagnosis and management of SIN. The administration of contrast media has been associated with thyroid dysfunction, particularly in patients with pre-existing thyroid disease. Contrast-induced thyroid dysfunction can manifest as transient or permanent alterations in thyroid hormone levels. Imaging studies, such as thyroid scintigraphy, can assist in the evaluation and diagnosis of these changes. Close monitoring of thyroid function and appropriate management are crucial in patients at risk for contrast-induced thyroid dysfunction. Contrast-induced pulmonary edema, CIPE, is an uncommon but serious complication following contrast media administration. It is characterized by the rapid onset of dyspnea, hypoxia, and pulmonary congestion. The underlying mechanism involves an imbalance in hydrostatic and oncotic pressures within the pulmonary capillaries, leading to fluid extravasation. Immediate intervention with diuretics, oxygen therapy, and supportive care is necessary in managing CP. Certain patient populations, such as those with a history of prior contrast reactions, asthma, or allergies, are considered high risk for adverse reactions to contrast media. Prophylactic measures can be employed to mitigate the risk of these reactions. Pre-medication regimens involving corticosteroids, antihistamines, and or leukotriene receptor antagonists have been shown to reduce the incidence and severity of contrast reactions in high-risk patients. Close monitoring and emergency preparedness should be in place during contrast-enhanced procedures. Contrast media reactions in pediatric patients deserve special attention due to their age-specific considerations. Pediatric populations may exhibit altered pharmacokinetics and require adjusted contrast dosages based on weight and renal function. Adverse reactions, while rare, can occur and necessitate prompt recognition and appropriate management. Multidisciplinary collaboration between radiologists, pediatricians, and allergists is crucial in ensuring the safe administration of contrast media in children. Hypersensitivity testing can aid in identifying specific allergies to contrast media, enabling tailored management strategies. Various testing modalities, such as skin prick tests or specific IgA assays, can be employed to assess sensitivity to specific contrast agents or components. The results of hypersensitivity testing guide subsequent contrast choices, allowing for safer contrast media usage in patients with confirmed allergies or previous reactions. Continuous advancements in medical imaging have led to the development of novel contrast agents. These include gadolinium-based contrast agents used in MRI, microbubble-based agents for ultrasound, and nanoparticle-based agents for targeted imaging. 
these emerging contrast agents offer improved diagnostic capabilities, enhanced safety profiles, and specific tissue targeting properties. Ongoing research and development aim to further expand the range of contrast agents available, catering to individual patient needs. Contrast extravasation occurs when contrast media inadvertently leaks into the surrounding tissues during intravenous administration. This can result in local tissue damage, pain, inflammation, and potential complications. Prompt identification of extravasation, along with appropriate management strategies such as local cooling, elevation, and the use of antidotes like hyaluronidase, can help minimize the extent of injury and facilitate resolution. Idiosyncratic reactions to contrast media are uncommon and unpredictable, making them challenging to anticipate and prevent. These reactions occur independent of the dose and route of administration, and their pathophysiology remains poorly understood. Idiosyncratic reactions can manifest as various clinical presentations, ranging from mild hypersensitivity-like symptoms to more severe organ-specific manifestations. Vigilant monitoring, prompt recognition, and appropriate intervention are imperative when dealing with idiosyncratic reactions. Certain clinical conditions may mimic contrast reactions, leading to diagnostic confusion and potential mismanagement. Conditions such as vasovagal reactions, anxiety-related symptoms, or medication side effects can present with similar features to true contrast reactions. Detailed patient history, thorough physical examination, and correlation with additional diagnostic findings can aid in differentiating these mimics from genuine contrast reactions. In summary, adverse reactions to contrast media are complex and varied, involving different mechanisms and requiring management strategies. Radiologists need to understand anaphylaxis, the role of histamine, radiologic manifestations, use of new agents, high-risk patients, prophylaxis, and differentiating true reactions from mimics for optimal patient care.